everybody, I'm Tony. I'm the uh, creator of Hype Fantasy Lights. This is my first project video, so bear with me a little bit. It can only get better from here. So, um, the one I'm going to be talking about today is for my Mega Tree. Um, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to build the base, the ring, and the center mass for my Mega Tree. Um, one of the unique things, there are so many different ways to build a mega tree. One of the one of the situations that's unique about our display is where I have to put it, which I have to put it on a hill. So I need to make sure that my mega tree is that my base ring is nice and flat and even with the base of the tree where it's sitting on top of the hill, along with the fact that I don't have a whole lot of room to run guy wires everywhere. So there are easier ways to do this. I mean, you can just drive a pole into the ground, throw a center mast up, and you're good to go. I've done that before, you know, but again, you have to have plenty of room to be able to put guy wires out, that kind of thing, and you're pretty much stuck putting it right there. Um, the idea behind this is to make it versatile. I can put it at the top of a hill. I can put it on flat ground. I can even put it on the driveway because this thing will be um, one entire unit once it's all done. So you piece it all together, everything's up, and it's one solid piece, which gives it its uh, structural stability. So. That's the goal anyway, we'll see how it goes. Before we get into it, I'll kind of go over a little bit about what I've got here, the kind of materials that I'm using. So, um, to start off with, I've got three agents rebar, that's what I'm going to be using inside of the actual box that I'm gonna be putting concrete in that you'll, you'll see later. Um, so I'll be using that to give us some structural stability. Um, I've got half inch EMT conduit. This is what I'm gonna use for the actual base ring of, on the outside. Um, I've got, this is one and three, I'm uh, sorry, one and a quarter inch EMT conduit. This is what I'm gonna use for my sleeves. So I'll have one of these sticking out the center mast where the center mast is gonna go, and I'll also have them sticking out of the sides where my stabilizers are going to go. And then I've got, um, everything else is one and three eighths inch fence rail. You see I've got four of these. The tree will be about 16 and a half, 17 feet tall at the, at the peak. Um, so I'll use two of them for the center mass, and then the other one and three eighths I'll use for the stabilizers. The great thing is one and three eighths slips inside the one and a quarter inch EMT conduit perfectly, um, which is good there. Two by 10, this is what I'm gonna construct the box out of, and then I've got three bags of concrete over here. I should probably only need about two of them, uh, but I got three just in case. So ultimately, by the time everything's said and done, this entire block should weigh about 120 pounds. Um, pretty heavy, but nothing that you can't throw on top of a, uh, you know, a dolly and wheel on out to where you want it to be. Um, but that plus the stabilizers is kind of what gives it its, uh, its stability for all the pieces of it. Um, and then obviously I got some black spray paint and just some miscellaneous nuts and bolts. Everything I'm doing is quarter inch nuts and bolts for the uh, base ring and then three eighths inch uh, nuts and bolts for um, everything else that I'm kind of tying together. So um, with that, I'm going to get to work on building the box and uh, I'll tune you guys back in and go over that once I've got that piece together. All right, so we're back, have the base uh, fully assembled, ready to go for concrete. So before I do that, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick tour so you can see how it's put together. Because uh, once the concrete's in it, you won't see any of the guts of what's going on inside. So to start with, um, a center mast, obviously. Um, so this is the one and a quarter inch um, EMT conduit. So this is what the one and three eighths inch fence rail will slide into. So this is about two feet outside of the top. As we go around here, you'll notice I've got four main supports coming out here that I actually have attached with L brackets. I did that, number one, to keep them at a 90 degree angle, also just to give it a little bit of extra support when it's coming in there. And then when my one and three eighths inch um, pipes slide into here, I'll be able to bolt them in and actually have them nice and, uh, nice and rigid. Uh, the ones here, you'll see this is the back right here where it comes out the back. Here's the two sides. And then you'll notice the front, how I've actually got three sleeves coming out. Um, and this is for my base ring. This is gonna be a 180 degree tree. So the base ring will start on this one here. It'll run over these sleeves here and there. So those will give it the support that it needs uh, when I run the half inch EMT conduit on top so that I can bolt to it. As we go inside here, you'll see this, this two by six is just here to give, uh, to give the center pole some support and keep it at a 90 degree angle while I, uh, as I'm pouring concrete in. Um, same thing, I've got some wires here and that's just to keep these couple sleeves nice and still on point concrete. But you'll see that the sleeves run all the way back to the center pole. Um, and then I put rebar in here as well for extra support. So I just drilled through those and slid them in there. Um, I'll seal up the ends and then once the concrete's in here, this should be nice and set. Everything should be solid and this should be one solid piece. Um, which will help once I get um, everything else taken care of as well. Um, one other thing I did say, I think in the beginning of the video I said this was 2x10. I was actually debating 2x8 or 2x10. This is actually the 2x8 that I settled with. Um, you could go 2x10, you know, if you're going to have a taller tree, I would definitely go with the 2x10 and, and maybe a little bit bigger. Um, this one, as it sits right now, is 18 inches by 18 inches from outside to outside. 
um, which which in all reality should be big enough, you know, unless you start going uh, with an even bigger tree. So um, with that, uh, that's about it for now. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with concrete, and I'll come back then. Hi. So you can see here, uh, we've got our concrete poured in there. I've actually done a couple of other little odds and ends here too. Um, so I'll show you, you can kind of see around the top here. I actually just, a little bit of caulking, same thing on the bottom, just to, just to seal up the gap, because there's a little bit of a gap between the cement block in there. And I'm trying to keep as much water out as possible, just for longevity purposes. Um, otherwise, everything's nice and sturdy. You'll see I actually cut my legs here. Now, my tree's seven and a half, uh, it'll be seven foot diameter. Um, and it'll be a 180 tree. So you can see my base ring will start over there, comes out three and a half feet off the center pole, and it'll come around this way here. Um, you know, if you wanted to make it a full uh, 360 degree tree, you could. I would just say you probably want one more support out this side and one more support out that angle, just like I have right here in front. Um, but for my purposes, this will work. And then just so you can kind of see what I did here. So these are actually slid um, all the way inside. So I cut these, they're slid all the way inside here. Um, and they'll serve two purposes. Number one is they're going to hold the base ring down. Um, and then the other thing that they will do is they'll actually hold the, um, uh, they'll kind of work on keeping this stable and give the base more stability as well. Um, so from here, the next thing I've got to do is basically I'm going to put a coat of Thompson's water sealer on this just to kind of seal up the wood. We'll spray paint everything flat black. And then I'll come back once I've got the uh, base ring and the center mass done and that'll just about wrap everything up. So as you can see, got it all finished here. So in total, we're seven foot in diameter. The tree itself is about 17 and a half feet tall. And then the star up on top adds another foot and a half. So it totals out at about 19 feet total. Um, pretty easy to put together. I actually set this up myself in probably about 20 minutes, just doing this little bit here. So probably my guess is under an hour, I'm not gonna set the whole thing up today. We'll wait till Christmas for that only because it's still 110 degrees here in Arizona. Um, otherwise, let me go ahead and show you how you come on in. I'll show you some of the details of it. So you'll see I'll show you some of the details of it. So obviously center block I already showed you already done. Um, these were the, um, the stability poles that I put in place. So you'll see they're all bolted in right here. I've got my, uh, my half inch conduit, uh, EMT conduit right here. So what I did is I basically just flattened down the ends. That's how you can see that it's kind of flattened down. You just bash it with a hammer easy enough but that is actually bolted to these so this is nice and stable it's not going anywhere um, the straps easy enough just to zip tie right in place um, really easy it's nice and secure I mean you can I can tug on these all I want to they're not going to go anywhere so um, I may end up because as you can see they twist a little bit so I may end up um, actually weaving some another piece of banding in between these uh, just to give it a little bit more stability but all in all, as a unit, um, the whole unit is very stable. It's not gonna go anywhere. I don't even have these braced yet normally. You'd put a two by four underneath these to brace these solidly. Um, I don't even have that done yet. And I mean, the thing wouldn't tip over even if you tried. So um, so all in all, the great thing about this is it's completely self-containing. You'll see all my leads right here. My uh, controllers and everything will mount on the PVC pipe right here. Um, and when I do that, this entire unit, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could pick the whole thing up and move it to the other side of the yard for a show the next night if I really, really wanted to. But um, it just kind of shows you the versatility of it. You can do it in rock, concrete, grass, doesn't matter where you put it, you can put it pretty much anywhere you need to. So um, that's kind of how I designed it. Um, like I said, tons of different ways to do it. Um, so, you know, you can kind of see how I did it here. Use what you want to use here, use some other ideas and, and kind of come up with one that fits what your needs are. Thanks for watching.